this is a collective channeled message. Show me who this is about, please. So we have Jupiter in Leo, and we have the Queen of Cups. So this channeled message is, I'm going to start with this person. So I feel like this is the male energy. This person has a big, giant ego. Victory is always on his mind. He's always interested in who is looking up to him. Um, he wants accolades. He wants people clapping, admiring him. He puts that before everything else. He also likes to win. I feel like when he's in the driver's seat, <clears throat> people that know him well worry. Um, because even the horse that he's on is worried, is looking back with a worried expression. You can barely see his expression there, but it's of worry. It's like, where are we going now? Are you sure? Are you sure, Master, that we're going the right way? You know. And over here is a woman whose only focus is love. It could be a water sign. So that would be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio female. But actually, you know, this could be any, any woman. And all she's focused on is her cup. Notice how large that cup is. It's a cup of love. Uh, she's surrounded by water. Water. The throne that she sits on is adorned with mermaids and seashells. It her just look, this is a giant seashell. Water, water, water. She's so comfortable with emotion and love, that's where she resides. Now, why are these two people right next to each other? I feel like this woman fell in love with this man, but right now she's wondering, she's looking back down at her cup. So she's not looking to him anymore. She's looking at her cup. So if you're a female and this is resonating so far, this is someone that you used to really admire. You used to be one of these people down here. There are people here that are looking up to this man on this horse admiring him clapping you used to admire this person and you don't anymore well it, i actually no i think you still love this person but you're looking back down at your cup so what it says to me is that you're wondering where should you know is this person really appropriate uh to invest is it really appropriate for me to invest my love in that person? Is this really where I want this giant, enormous, ginormous amount of my energy to go? Because at this point, you may have pulled your energy back and you're just looking. You're, you're realizing, wow, I do have a lot to offer. She's looking at what she has to offer and she's kind of, going, whoa, this is a giant cup of love. <laughs> uh, and he's still focused on accolades, but he does, he's not looking that happy, actually. He isn't. I feel like his profile looks kind of worried. Now, what bugs me here is that this energy... I'm just, hang on, I'm just going to, just remember, 
footnote number one, just in case this energy comes up again. I'm not going to say it right now because I don't want to turn you guys off. Now, there is, oh, but hang on a moment. Do you see this? This only happens when I'm supposed to look at what's underneath this. Okay, there's a very serious choice, and there's love, and there's he's, yeah. So this guy made a very serious choice that he's losing sleep over. But what I'm wondering is what was that choice? And usually the card that's right underneath this, what I meant to say was this has something to do with exposing somebody, embarrassing them, bringing something out in the public. And I'm wondering, did this person, and I'd like to use a stronger word, try to expose this, this kind hearted woman over here? Anyway, I could be wrong. This could be my paranoia kicking in. But let's let's keep going. <laughs> what next, please, collective? Yeah, the cards don't even want to talk right now. He's hiding something. Show me one more time. Spirit, expose this person, please. Oh, even spirit is not happy with me right now. Okay. Um, can we then just focus on whatever the message is supposed to be for the collective, okay? Okay, it's a little bit better. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, wow. I know now why Spirit was doing that. So, the guy on the horse, he's right here right now. He's ready to strike. At somebody, I don't know who yet, because I'm supposed to be open-minded here, which I will. And I want to show you who this is. That's Spirit. That's why Spirit was cautioning me there. Spirit is in control of this, not me. Spirit is watching this. Spirit has their eye on this guy. Spirit got his number. <laughs> show me a little bit more, please. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, I'm starting to get nervous about this. So, uh, this, this is spirit, okay? Just when I, if you're not, if you don't believe in God, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, Tao, if you don't believe in a maker, um, just think of this as part of your higher self, okay? What is happening here is, I'm going to just call it spirit, okay, is looking at some betrayal. And at this very moment, and I don't normally focus on this part of the card, but what I'm really focusing on is the piercing of a very important organ of the body, which is the heart. It's a muscle. And they didn't do it once or twice. They did it three times. The man on the horse, I think, has betrayed that woman not once, not twice, but three times. And, of course, this has raised the ire of the higher self or of spirit, of the unconditionally loving, but, you know, the all-powerful <sighs> source, we'll call it. It's called spirit. It's showing more. So while this person is watching for something, spirit is watching this person. Also watching you and making sure that you're protected. Because I think that, that you are in this lantern. Sorry. Um, it's Okay, I get the message here. Spirit is trying to figure out how to get to you. Whoever is um, hearing this message right now, um, Spirit is trying to figure out how do, how do I get to you. Um, it, this could be an attempt for you to be able to receive this message. What about this card?
Yeah. That uh, Spirit wants, I believe, wants you to, to be on the lookout for what? Okay, for this person, all right. No. What is the message here, please? What's the... Okay. Perhaps for you to take control. Yeah. All right, I get the message right here. Whoever is receiving this message, whether you are male or female, there is a need for you to rein in your emotion. Um, remember that this person wins, after all. Um, you may be going through a topsy-turvy time. Um, but it's necessary for you not to be ruled by emotion at this time. This card is on uh, point number seven of the Tree of Life. Uh, as they say, the Tree of Life are really the seven attributes of God. So, you know, if you want to be like God, you want to look at these seven divine points. This is Netza, number seven. It's all about victory. And it's a very powerful force. It does show you that at times it's necessary to rein in your emotion. In other words, not be ruled by emotion, but rather logic, the head. And I believe that when it comes to this person, the person that you so admired, sorry, where's the, my focus here? Perhaps you're not supposed to, oh, there we go. Look at his grip on that wand. You know, he was so focused, or, or she, so focused on victory. You know. All right, let's keep going. I feel like spirit is going to take care of this person, you know. And, and and I really mean that. I don't mean in a mean way. You may be still with this person because you're worried that no one is going to take care of them. But spirit will take care of them in a loving way. I'm seeing the phrase watching from afar. Oh, not sure what that means. Um, can we keep going, please? Oh, no, we can't. What's down there? Oh, all right. So this person is still betraying this energy down here. Okay, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, you may be caught off guard soon, uh, and you may not know how to react to something. Show me a little bit more. So I feel like there's an opportunity coming your way. Uh, and be careful because, uh, uh, you know, here I am advising you to rein in your emotions, but at the same time, I am telling you that, that it, you may be so good at this by now. You may have, you know, you may have had to rein in your emotions. Because of this person and the way they dealt with you, that you've gotten into the habit of not taking the cup, you know, taking the spiritual cup or taking gifts, gifts from the divine when they are presented to you. Uh, so the warning here is um, something will be quietly presented from spirit that you ought not to pass up. So be careful because it is going to come by and you may be so sort of depressed and down that you don't notice that it's there. Um, there's another energy. Oh, wow. Could be a Libra. <laughs> but
But no, actually what it is is a karmic reward. Um, it's a karmic reward. Remember, now this is the card of justice. It's, it is spiritual justice. That curtain behind Madam Justice there holds all the memories, all the karmic credit that you've built up, all the good things that you tried to do for that person who had the giant ego racked up in that curtain. It's like a bank account, a karmic bank account. So what's coming to you, you've earned it. You've earned it, okay? I feel like we have two more splits coming. Show me more. <sighs> What's coming to you? Here's the power in this message. What is about to come to you is as profound and as important and as great a gift as you would have been and were to this person with the giant ego. And if you aren't alert to it, then you'll be just like, just like him when he passed you up. That's how great the gift is that's coming to you, so keep your eyes open, please. One more, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. I didn't know what the message was till just then. Had no idea. Yeah. There's a possibility that if you are not open, you will fight this, fight this incredibly profound and important gift off the way that your person was stubborn and did not take this cup. One more, please. It's hard to see what's about to come yeah. Just look at the danger of you, you refusing. Here's the danger of you refusing this gift. If you refuse it, you will just be doing the same thing that this person did when they refused your cup. Just a moment, there's something under there. <gasps> Look. Here's what's coming in. This is called Venus in Cancer. This union is divine. Do you see the caduceus? Underneath the passionate lion, it is the perfect combination of these two energies. There's passion there. It will be vulnerable. Do you see how far away the house is? It will be vulnerable because it will be in its early stages. But this is an incredibly divine union. Please look out for it and don't miss it. And congratulations.